r slash ask reddit hot topic employees of reddit what are your horror stories I worked for two years at my local Hot Topic and the worst stories both involved the fitting room. Our fitting room used to be a self-service room in the back of the store with a red curtain in front of it. An employee noticed four feet in the room and opened it to find two people having sex in it and had to clean up the remnants. A second incident came when a smell wafted from the same room. It was later discovered that someone had actually taken a dump in the room when they went in to try on clothes. We ended up fitted the room with a galvanized piece of chain and a master lock to keep the curtain open. Luckily, shortly thereafter, we got a full store overhaul that put in actual fitting rooms. God, we had to guard the dressing room like a fortress. I had to prevent a teenage girl and who I thought was her boyfriend from going in there. I also told her she couldn't take the armful of thongs they'd picked out into the dressing room, she goes daddy, will you hold my panties? And hands them over and then tells me he's my stepdad but I call him daddy. So then her 40-something method out mum wanders over to confirm that yes, this teenage juggalo is her husband, that he is a few years older than her daughter, that they go to the same high school, and that she finds their whole dynamic adorable. Every time the girl called him daddy her mom would cackle and tell me she just loves her daddy, they have classes together at school and she loves telling everyone she goes to school with her daddy. They do everything together. She loves doing stuff with her daddy. Shit almost made me go back to church. Edit, since this is blowing up if the story sounds familiar I posted it on an alt several years back and it got picked up by a clickbait site so cast aside thy pitchforks. Also no, it wasn't Alabama. A petite friend is currently a manager at one and her issue is always a customer that becomes too often repeat customer obsessed with her or another female employee. Currently. It's a guy that swears they would have everything in common because he likes all the things in the store too as if she curated it and now has to stay 500 feet from the store. I heard stories like this from my local once several times. They ended up promoting this giant shit kicker goth chick with purple hair to the manager, and she would straight up threaten creepy dudes, had zero problems calling security or police if someone was harassing an employee. I went to community college with a girl who worked there. And she said about two weeks after that manager got hired, nobody had been harassed since. How to find the perfect height manager, pick the scariest, most intimidating person you can find. Not retail, but I used to do warehousing for a tech distributor many years ago. Back when iPods were still very hot. We had an entire area for just iPods. It had a cage around it and a camera. Caught a guy going out through security one day. He had been seen doing something shady in that cage. Turns out, he had brought in a temperature-resistant bag, vacuum sealer, and a giant coffee mug. All in stages, at separate times, over a month or so. He was vacuum sealing the iPods in the bags, putting them in his coffee mug, which was half full of coffee. So if you opened the mug, it just looked like coffee. After checking inventory and camera records, he must have easily gotten away with at least 15 units. That was my first job doing inventory, and my first time ever catching something that big. Since then, few things have compared to that <laughs> Spent almost five years working at one in the early 2000s. Being in the Midwest, we had a ton of juggalos but they were actually pretty nice people in general. I had a group of kids ask what I would do if they set some clothes on fire and flicked a lighter multiple times. We mostly got weirdos who wanted to bang in the dressing room or lifted up their shirts to ask me what gauge their nipple ring is. We had this one girl who came in weekly and I don't think she was all the. She would sit at the listening station for way too long and then leave. One day she sat down and put the headphones on. She had a plastic bag with her filled with empty glass bottles and peaches, yes. The fruit? We noticed it was leaking onto the floor but just let her do her thing. She put the headphones back and looked at her leaking bag. She had a mildly disappointed look on her face but immediately looked at her watch and yelled, I'm going to miss my bus. She ran out of the store and up to a trash can outside the store. She held the bag up high and yelled peaches meet your fate. Comma threw the bag in the trash, and sprinted off. That job was weird. Worked there for 13 years. So much weird. But that's just retail in general.
caught a guy masturbating into women's shoes in the dressing room. People had sex in there more often than you'd be comfortable with. I worked for them when Columbine happened. We carried a brand of clothing back then called Serial Killer, which featured pop culture pics, references and some edgy saying, like a pic of Bruce Lee that said revenge or something like that. The morning after Columbine happened, we got an email to pull all the Serial Killer clothing line off the sales floor, as well as every trench coat in the store. By the end of the day, I'd already had to call security twice due to people showing up at the store and harassing me for supporting those psychos and training the next ones. Then the TV networks showed up and pretty much camped the front of our store, harassing every customer as they walked in, out, asking them why this dark lifestyle attracted them. The mall ended up having security just hang out in front of our store and walking our employees to their cars for a week afterward. Honestly, it was the best job I ever had. The company was really supportive at the corporate level. I still have friends that work there. They pretty much left me alone so long as I made sales, so I had carte blanche to set up my stores the way I wanted even if it didn't look like the planned merchandising setups they sent out. I had direct access with every department, so if I felt my stores couldn't sell something they sent us, they'd let me transfer it somewhere else, and vice versa, get more best sellers in. Honestly, if it wasn't for working every weekend and closing a lot of stuff, I would have continued working there. I was working on the sales floor and this guy, at least in his 30s and pretty high, starts making sexual comments to me about this 15-ish girl that was checking out. I asked him to leave and nothing more came of it but ticket was chilling. Also had a co-worker get fired because they were selling weed out of the back room. She'd sneak it into their bag while they were checking out. Also had a different, off-duty, co-worker come in hammered late one night to tell everyone working how great we were. That was actually kinda nice. Besides that, it was a lot of kicking out vaping teenagers and letting the quiet girls from my school try on skimpy Harley Quinn bikinis in the dressing room. Edit, grammar. <laughs> Former employee. I worked a whole three months in summer, so all the kids were out and about. I was stocking Disney merchandise and I couldn't help but notice a kid underneath one of our clearance racks. I heard some strange noise coming from there too so I crouch under and look at the kid. He had a button, needle and all, in his mouth. I asked him where his parents were and before I knew it he swallowed the pin and ran out of the store. I couldn't leave and go search for the child so I let security know about the button kid. Never knew what happened after that. I can't seem to forget button kid though. My high school girlfriend worked the way back in the day. She said the worst part of the day was having to collect merchandise from the fitting rooms and cleaning the fitting rooms. Apparently, all sorts of nasty women would go in there and try on the panties, not use a liner and just generally leave them all crusty and bad smelling. They would also leave pads and tampons all over. She said they had to throw away so much merchandise that was left in that condition. I feel like this may be a problem anywhere they sell clothes but then again Hot Topic may attract a different type of customer so it might have happened more often. I worked in the section of the soft line of Target for a couple of years. My manager found a swimsuit with a used tampon in it in the fitting room. I remember people getting very angry when we told them they couldn't try on the underwear. I always wondered why they would want to try on underwear that someone else had potentially tried on. This was my first job in my college town, and generally, I absolutely loved it. You're treated like some super cool mini celebrity by all the little mall rats, the management was generally great to their employees, and the work wasn't too hard in my small, low volume store. However, there was the issue of Valentine's Day. That year they were promoting all these different corsets and lingerie, as well as the Get In Our Pants campaign for the skinny jeans. Management wanted the employees to try and show the corsets not just as lingerie, but as fashion items, maybe paired with the skinny jeans. Increase sales and all. So there I am, Valentine's Day, in a black corset and tight black skinny jeans and boots. Way more sexy than 18 year old me with a still developing body was comfortable with. In comes Creepy McCreeper, a 50 plus something dude who says he wants to buy something for his wife but wants some help picking it out. Not once did his eyes look at my face. 
the entire time I'm helping him, he's staring at my ass or chest and making weird comments about how I remind him of his daughter or being uncomfortably comfortable telling me explicit details about his wife's body. He then asks me to try it on and show him, so he could see how it would look on his wife. Luckily, shy 18-year-old me awkwardly laughed it off and got him past the register and out of the store. I loved that job but Jesus did it draw some weirdos job.